You're damn straight, I just said $15. What's going on everybody? It's your boy David and today guys I'm gonna be showing you guys how to tint your tail lights for $15 roughly. Maybe a, like a dollar more, a dollar less, who knows. $15 roughly, you can have your tail lights looking tinted. Pretty nice. Um, you can do this in your backyard, you can do this in your front yard, you can do this in your side yard. It doesn't matter where you want to do it, you can do it. We're gonna be tinting them with this product right here called VHT Nightshades. Um, I wanted to give it a shot. I've never tried it before. We're getting ready to go on quarantine in like the next hour. My county is, so I'm from Gaston County, North Carolina, so we're about to go on lockdown, so why not go outside and do something productive than just stay at home? Because my home's right here, but you know, what's the point? But yeah, this product right here, guys, we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. You can do this for any tail lights, anything you want. We're gonna try it on these extra spare tail lights for the Mustang. These did not come off my Cobra. I have these on my Cobra right now, but these have been laying around for a while. So we're gonna try these out on this and we're gonna see how it turns out. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna get you a clean microfiber towel. Um, I'm gonna have a dry one and a, gonna be my wet one right here. So I have soapy water, I have some chemical guys uh, soap in here and then I just have um, you know my AutoZone bucket and my rag. So we're gonna wet this first. And now you just want to wipe down your tail light. Just anything, wipe any dirt off of it, the sides of it, anything you can, any crevices. You don't have to do the bottom of it where the lights go in, just kind of the sides and the front of it. You just want to wipe that off. And guys, just to show you, there's like a little difference. You might be able to see it on camera. Camera might take it up, but I mean, this one's all clean and wiped down now, and then this one's still kind of dirty. Like you can kind of see, like, there's just kind of stuff all over it, but this one's still pretty dirty where this one's not wiped down so make sure you do the same thing with the other one we got them both clean both wiped down with the dry microfiber cloth um so yeah the next step you want to do is basically tape off anything you don't want painted i don't want this right here painted so i'm going to use uh frog's tape right here to tape off anything that i don't want paint on it so uh, just kind of like this part of the tail light sure but just not this trimming part right here so we're gonna just tape that off make sure we don't get any paint on that also I do not recommend that you do this on your car it literally takes like a couple bolts in any car to take out tail lights there's no reason for you to put masking tape and saran wrap around your car because you're too lazy to take off the tail lights it's not that hard take off the tail lights it will make this job 100% easier you don't have to worry about doing none of that just take them off it's literally like on a Mustang it's like four bolts some cars is two bolts my Jeep is two bolts so take your tail lights off to do this don't just do it on your car oh that's that's as much as I want mines you know um, I just basically wanted that black trimming in the front to be uh, taped off everything else should be pretty good with uh, as far as these tail lights go they should be pretty good um, Back to the nightshade. I know you guys aren't gonna wanna read the directions, so I'm gonna read it for you. It says, do not exceed more than three coats or may not show through. Dries to the touch in one hour, can be handled in three hours, cures completely in 24 hours, cover approximately 12 to 14 square feet. You don't wanna do more than three coats because you, it might look like this, <laughs> and it might look like that, and you won't be able to see nothing. So, one to two, three coats max. If you wanna do more, you can do more it's up to you you know you might have to go led bulbs though because like these i think are in the in the sense oh in the sentence damn it i don't know how to say the word you guys get what i'm trying to say regular bulbs might not show through leds will show through more than likely if you do more than three coats so we're gonna go ahead and get started on this part so give your can a good old shaking any way you want to do if you want to dance you want to break it down just go ahead this is your time to do that for the purpose that I don't want to get anything on these tail lights, I don't want to get these like uh, pollen because I'm in this little shack that we have. It's like a little ugly shack, very ugly. We have a painting of something, but I don't want pollen to get on these while I'm doing my coats. I want these to look halfway decent. We're gonna do one light coat on each tail light first. Now we're gonna let that dry for five to 10 minutes before we move on to the next coat. All right, you guys, so these have dried for about five to 10 minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and apply another coat to these. So make sure you give your can a shaking first, and then you want the clear stuff to come out first, so just kind of spray in some direction, you'll see it'll be clear. See, it's clear. Now it's black. So. Now we got the second coat. Now I want a darker look, so I'll probably go with three coats. You can do more, you can do less. Second coat done, they're looking very good. 
like 10 tee looking so we're gonna let these dry again and then hit it with another coat the last coat just letting you guys know ahead of time i don't have my car yet my mustang is still in the shop so i plan to throw these on the car and show you what they'll look like on the car once i get it back i should hopefully have it back about a month or two after this video i know guys it's been a long time since i've had my mustang but it's kind of you know what you go through whenever you want to get your car built as a matter of fact let me show you guys something come on you see guys look we're finally getting stuff done we got our cams right here our kurgan motorsport cams got the other ones in those in the box um i'm still waiting for my spring and retainers once we get those in we're gonna get those dropped off at the shop and we'll get these put in these things right here guys i'm excited to get these done kurgan motorsports if you guys are watching this video thank you thank you very much can't wait to make the video for you guys to see what it sounds like it's gonna sound like a beast this car you know we got the flywheel right here resurfaced so that's still good you know got to throw our bearing brand new in the box right here so yeah we got parts for this car but clutch will hopefully be done around april 14th or 15th that is the day that uh mcleod has gave me 14th or 15th so now we're ready for the last and final coat maybe <laughs> we'll see uh, it depends how i feel how it looks gosh those things look so good compared to what they look like before wow very very good i might do one more coat we'll see i'm gonna let these dry out and we'll see how how they turn out all right so this last um coat has dried uh basically to the touch so we're gonna just see what it looks like you guys can see that looks really dark oh my gosh it's gonna look really good on the car like i said 15 dollars for this can right here and you can get these tinted lights i'm i want to buy some that are like 200 they're like professionally done super dark and whatnot but i for 15 dollars for a temporary look than to have a big bright red in the back sticking like a sore thumb you know this is a lot better um what do you guys think you guys think i should do like half of another coat or another coat it doesn't look like that so i think we'll be all right right now i've already ordered um reverse led tail lights a uh, reverse led bulbs i'm sorry for the reverse part so if i have to i'll buy some leds for this which will make it much brighter we don't gotta worry about it not being uh it being too dark or something and i think guys that's where we're gonna leave these for now um these look really good just how they are here you have it this is the finished product which it actually looks very very clean very smooth like i said it's not gonna look like authentic tint because we did this with like a basically like a like a rattle can spray thing but kind of like a tent in a way so it looks pretty decent like i said i can't show you anything on how it's gonna look like in the car but i promise you i promise you as soon as i get my car back you guys will see these on the car temporarily until i get the money to buy the ones that i actually want so yeah you guys i hope you guys really like this video um i really do like i said they turned out pretty well they look very dark um if i cannot see with the lights i will be um getting leds put in them so don't worry about that well there you have it you guys i showed you guys on how you guys can tint your tail lights or anything maybe even headlights i'm pretty sure but mainly tail lights third brake lights for 15 dollars roughly so if you guys want this stuff they sell it at your local auto store maybe even walmart but mainly AutoZone, o'reilly's advanced auto parts 15 dollars and you can tint your own tail lights so i hope you guys like this video do your boy a favor hit that like button comment below what you thought about it if you tried it did it work out for you please guys if you're not subscribed already help me hit 200 subscribers we're almost there we're like at this moment we're like 24 away so hit your help your boy up <laughs> yeah this is why you should subscribe help your boy out and help me get to 200 subscribers you guys have an amazing rest of your day and i'll see you guys next time <laughs>